Hello everyone, and welcome back to No Man's Land. So, I said I wouldn't do all the logging, and I haven't. There is... But I have left this one last strip. This is the only one left to do. So, we're going to do this. We're going to get cracking on it. Uh, I need to turn him on. And I did discover that I'm an idiot. Yes, we may already know this. But I am an idiot because... If I bring a firewood pallet up, I can actually get firewood by cutting down the stumps. So, after realizing that, I have been doing that, and I now have a few pallets of firewood ready to go. I've also been cutting up these very small little pieces, the ones that were kind of getting in the way. And the reason we're still on the same day is because um, if I keep this machine for an extra day, I have to pay, um, you know, I have to pay a, a, a daily fee. Whereas if I <coughs> do all my work with it today, and then we spend the second half of it, you know, we sleep, then we will actually be, um, saving a bit of money. So that is what I decided to do. So we're just going to crack on with the logging. Uh, I'm not going to do it as a time lapse. I think last time the time lapse worked okay. Anything where you have to move the mouse a lot is always tricky as a time lapse. But um, it seemed to work all right. Now, in terms of what we've got, I'll just show you. The sawmill has now stopped producing. That's because he is full. He's got 1.3 million litres of logs, but the planks are completely full. So, we've just stopped working for now. That's not a problem now. So, we'll get these done. Um, I probably won't do them all on camera. We'll just There aren't that many, to be honest, but... I'll do a few, and then we'll magically jump to having a lovely pile of woods to... Woods? A pile of woods, yeah. A pile of logs to pick up. But the Ponzi has been good. We did pay for a second hour. <clears throat> but I'm not too worried because the rest of this episode is going to be about making some money. Um, we're going to have to use some of those uh, planks. I th I'm tempted to actually not sell them but to keep them where they are, um, just kind of drop them out. It's, it would get a little bit tricky, they'll, they'll get in the way a little bit, but we're going to need those at a later point, so it makes more sense to not um, sell them all. We've got cash anyway, because we've got canola straw over there that is ready to go. We've also got plenty of milk. Oh, always the save. 23,000 litres of milk. So, uh, we're not we're not particularly worried about that. <coughs> and we've, we've got the 5,000 we need to pay the loan tomorrow. So, yeah, we're not uh, we're not in a bad position. Anyway, that's been almost four minutes of me rambling on, so I'm now going to get these trees cut down. When I'm back, there'll be a nice pile of logs that we can collect and take over to Storm. So I'll see you in a second. Here we are then. Everything is cut down, and I've just brought the firewood pallet over so we can pick that up after. <coughs> Let's turn this guy on, and he'll do his thing. He's a little bit finicky. I sometimes have to drive past the same logs multiple times. There we go. It's a game to pick up. But it should pick up. So we switch to the second pile. That's fine. He has collected everything. 
good. Right, we'll turn him off. This guy is so heavy. 19.6 tons. Apparently 15 and a half tons of wood we've got on here at the moment. So we'll go back down and we'll go to this side. I think we're gonna have to make a second trip. Yeah. That's just that's good news. I'm not going to complain. Okay, I think we're done that. So let's ooh, swerve. Come on. No, we got stuck. And now we're completely stuck. Right, let me fix this. Let's go and dump it all. Okay, so now he's all fixed. Drop these off. We've got so much wood up here. It does process it very quickly, but still, there's a lot of wood. There we go. So that leaves us with 1.43 million. So let's go and get the others. I'll pick them up quickly and bring them back. Here we go then. This is it. This is all the logs. <clears throat> with... I can't believe how much there is, to be honest. It's a lot. So, that's him done. <clears throat> Leave him there. We now need to... head up here, and we can chop down these trunks. Now, I think I'll do the trunks as a little bit of a time lapse. Um, there is mouse movement, but hopefully. What do you mean, log too big? Oh, I've had this before. This is the only annoying thing. Come on. It's lucky, really, that I bought. A second pallet. Yeah, they're all going to be too big. Ugh. Well, that's going to really annoy me. <clears throat> okay, so maybe no time lapse. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe time lapse would be a bad idea. I've got to go through and cut all of these guys first. Okay, that's everything done. <clears throat> so, just got a message about great demand at the bakery. I don't think we've got anything in stock. So it's for canola. Yeah, it's okay. We just sold our canola for more than that. Right, these guys. I don't want to move them anywhere. Um, I'm not going to take them all the way over to the sell point. Um, I've already got a trailer that's absolutely full. So instead, whoa, we're just going to go and pop them over here and I'll pick them up on another day because we've got three pallets already to sell and we can't sell all of that. Now, we're going to sleep. Uh, before we do, we want to return him. Yep. We want to return that. Yep. And that. Okay. So, I will now sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Right, we're just heading to pick up the trailer, the forage wagon. We've got 13,606, um, but I need to pay today's loan repayment. There we go. Obviously, we did pay a nice chunk of this off last time. If I was to go and sell all the milk, 
probably be able to sell off an even bigger chunk. But I don't really want to do that. So we're going to get all of this collected. As we know from well, we did the other field, but as we know in general, we get a lot of money from this straw. So this is gonna be really good for us financially. Uh, and keep us afloat because we've not got any crops in the ground at the moment, obviously. And I'm saying obviously a lot. I've noticed in uh, every now and again I have certain words that just appear over and over and over in the same episode without meaning to. But yeah, we're going to get all of this collected and then we're going to sell it. And... Well, we're going to sell it as we go. And uh, we obviously need to go and look after the cows as well. I said obviously again. But yes, we do need to go and look after the cows. They're going to need cleaning. They might need me to throw some bales in as well. Um, and we can also sell some like, firewood. So before we finish the episode, we're going to do the cows and the firewood. So today's a little bit of a... I'd say a slow episode because there's not a lot going on. But there is at the same time. We're going to have a few different jobs. It's just that none of them are a really major sort of job. Having said that, this is going to take a while. <clears throat> so, not even... I think that's about a third of the way around the field. I'm already full. We really, really need a bigger loading wagon. Um, yeah. That would be handy. Now, I'm not checking the sale website at the moment because... I don't want to know. Because then I just buy things, even if we don't need them. So I'm trying to avoid that a little. I thought for a second I saw a tool there that I didn't recognise, but I didn't. So, how much are we going to get from this load? It's looking good. Very good. 3,794. Okay. And we've got a lot more straw on that field. I think we're looking at a... I think we're looking at 10 loads. At least. Which would be... Uh, just under 38,000 euros. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. For just straw. This is kind of the problem with straw. Really, I should look at knocking the price down. Oh, that's a good point as well. I'm always selling straw there. Does the Agra's land trade take the straw? Let's have a look. Corn stalks, canola straw. Okay, so it's better at vehicle shop grain. In fact, it's, it's on its way up. That's very nice. Okay, uh, we've already done one time lapse, so I, I don't think I want to do this as a time lapse. So I'm going to jump cut, I think. And I'm going to get a big chunk done, and uh, then come back to you and let you know how it's going. This is the last bit of the headland then, and this is the fifth load. Um, the first one, obviously, I did on camera with you guys. This is number five. So I th I'm still thinking ten is about right. Um... But we'll see, I suppose. So I'm going to sell this and I'm going to carry on. And yeah, I'll come back to you when we are all done. And we can look at the grand total we've made from the canola straw. This is the tenth load. And there's still straw on the field. Which means we're doing outstandingly well. I am very happy. Um, because obviously we're making plenty of money from our greenhouses as well. So... Everything is tickety-boo, to be honest. That's a very British expression for you if you haven't heard it before. Um, yeah, there's not a massive amount left on the field. Ooh, and the price has started dropping, I've just noticed. A quick look. Canola. It had, this is the first time it's dropped. I don't know. It still says it's 165. Interestingly. Ah, it didn't sell everything. Why didn't it sell everything? That's weird. Okay, well anyway, I'm going to get the rest of this collected. And we'll see what the grand total is once it's all done. If I had actually sold 
everything that was in that previous load, which I don't know how I managed to do that, but I did, then this would have been just under 11 loads in total. Now, just under 11 loads is 253,000 litres of straw. That's impressive. So, we have made, in total, 41,809 just from the straw. That's a pretty awesome figure. So, uh, I'll leave him here, actually. I can sort him out off camera. What we need to do is check these guys out. Is he empty? Almost. And him? Okay, so he can take one more, definitely. Let's just... Uh, do the old unstrapping that way, it's going to be easier. Now of course I am using super strength for this, but there we go. So that's 5262 for that one. And then I need to take this one... Ah! I need to take this one a long way from the other. This is the only problem with them. I should have put them much, much further apart, but I didn't. We go four seven six nine. I've never worked out why this one pays less. Sixty nine thousand. So, I think it would be prudent to pay back another fifty thousand. Okay, I paid back fifty five accidentally. But that's fine. Uh, so we'll strap these back up again. Uh, one of the reasons I'm trying to make this episode a little quicker is because... Look at those straps that are a mess. The last episode was so long, um, which was not by design at all, to be honest. Right. So, we need to give them a quick clean. That is faux show. Uh, we'll do that. Run around and clean it all up. Wow. There's a lot here. What happens when you don't... I haven't touched them all, all day. That's the, f the spillage sorted. Uh, now, what do they need? They could do some silage. I don't have any up here. A little bit of hay, a little bit of grass. They could do some water, but I don't have it. I don't have any water right now. So straw, we can chuck that in. Like literally, chuck it in. Yeah, won't put another one in. Hay. We can put some more hay. We're going to have to actually get some more bales soon. Although we don't, really. Because, in reality, they actually have uh, enough food to keep them going for a decent number of days. I think it's ten days. Wow, they're still taking it. Ah, because they've been breeding as well, of course. We've now got 31 and 17. Uh, right, that's the hay done. Let's just throw some grass bales over there. They might not make it in. That's fine. Nope, none of them are making it in. That one did. So. There we go, we can put another grass bale in. Yes, we're almost finished all of our bales. There we go. And they've already spilt food. So, they are nice and healthy. Very good. Plenty of milk. And that is where we're going to leave it for today. We have done enough. So, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do off camera, because I'm going to do a few things. The wooded area that we've obviously just um, uh, cut down all the trees, I'm going to fix that, so I'm going to move it all of the, I'm going to merge together the lanes that we've got, get them ploughed and limed so that everything is looking good. Um, and I think I will probably cultivate both of the fields as well. 
the ones that, that, that haven't been cultivated. For now, though, thank you very, very much for watching, everyone. And I will see you again soon for another exciting episode. Bye-bye.